Hi, once again, everyone. I'm Randy Ray, and alongside Southeast Missouri State Coach Ron Shoemate. Coach, you beat Moorhead State and are now 2-2 two and two in the Ohio Valley Conference. 500. Congratulations. Well, it's fun to win on Saturday night, Randy, <laughs> especially the night before we uh, went uh, do the show. So uh, if we were doing it on Tuesday, I wouldn't be as happy as I am right now after the Murray game. But having a win over Moorhead is a big win for everyone, and we're very happy. You bet. In fact, we're going to check the standings and show everyone where Southeast stands right now in this Ohio Valley Conference. Eastern Kentucky uh, is unbeaten in conference play. They lost to Kentucky non-conference game, of course, Saturday. So there we have it. Coach, you're right in there, two and two. Well, we got a big game coming up uh, tomorrow night against uh, Eastern Kentucky, and you know they're leading three and zero in the conference, and uh, we certainly would like to get another win at home. And you know, like I've always said, Randy, it's very important to win all your games at home, if, if at all possible. And then if you can get a split on the road, that makes it that much better. Here's the deal now: Division One, first year. I'm looking at the standings. I'm thinking no one has blown us away. You're right in there. Well, we played some pretty good basketball thanks to the kids' intensity, and they played. And hard, and, and you know, I hope hopefully, hopefully we learn a lot from the ball game last night, and uh, it'll help us going into the rest of the season. Two games this past week: Moorhead State earlier in the week against Murray State. We'll check the highlights of the Murray game when we come back. So uh, for us going over there was, uh, for the first time, I had the opportunity back 100 years ago to play in that same facility uh, when I was playing at Tennessee Tech. And uh, I understand they're getting a new facility, but it's a tough place to play. Very loud, uh, good atmosphere, though. Uh, you know, there's a big crowd there, televised game. So uh, it was a big game for us. And uh, it was just a shame we couldn't get out of there with a W. Yeah, you took on the team that has won the last four OVC titles, so you're taking on the power of the OVC there. Well, they're, you know, they've got a lot of tradition over there they're in their athletic program, not just in basketball. And, you know, they uh, coach Steve Newton, who's in South Carolina, did an outstanding job uh, over there, when, and now uh, they've got a new coach, and, uh, you know, it's taken time for them adjusting, and uh, there we got uh, James Barnes hitting a big shot. James had a big ball game, and you know, I was very proud of our kids. There's Eddie Guns hitting the shot. Now let's get a little intensity on defense. And I felt like, it, you know, uh, our kids played extremely well. There's Popeye Jones coming in with a good dish off. And, and we got the steal. And, and uh, like I said, our kids played hard. We push it down the court, looking to swing the ball. James Barnes again knocks another three down. He had a big ball game. You know, James can step out and knock the three down pretty good. And there's Brandon Samuels hitting a big basket for us. Brandon's playing better now that he's uh, uh, learned a little bit what to expect from me. And uh, he had a big ball game not only uh, uh, at times this year, but he's uh, had a, uh, really contributed to our, to our game against Moorhead. There was Keith Brooks. You know, Keith has probably played his, his best ball game over there uh, against Murray. He, we really got some quality minutes out of him. Barnes had 21 points for you and mentioned his night. There's uh, Brooks again. The first 15 minutes of this game looked like you were going to control it all the way. Well, we played awfully well, and, uh, you know, I thought we stunned him a little bit, and there we didn't front Popeye. And James has a bad tendency to play behind people instead of getting out off to the ball, and he knows better. And there they got a big rejection right there, and, and uh, we forced the, forced the shot at halftime, and, you know, we tried to get a little bit better. We... We were discouraged that going in at half at 40-40, we thought we should have been up 10, 12 points at halftime. Dead even at halftime. Uh, going into this game, how concerned were you? How important was it to control Popeye Jones, and do you feel like you did? Well, I thought we did a pretty good job on it. I thought Elko and, and uh, the guys we put on him, Brandon, Brandon Samuels guarded him a little while. Uh, Alex Beeson guarded him some, and Blake had a pretty good night, too. There were some of our fans that came over to the Murray game, and, I think if the weather was just horrendous, we'd probably had uh, more fans if the weather hadn't been real bad. There we see Eddie Guns hit a couple. Uh, Popeye ended up with 23 points uh, and 10 rebounds, so he hit his numbers eventually. Yeah, he got his numbers, but, you know, uh, you know Popeye's going to get his. There's no question about it. Great dish off and uh, a big basket there. And there's Elko coming up for the steal. I felt like, you know... Uh, the basket should have counted, but they, they disallowed the basket. But that was great effort. You can't, 
you can't uh, fuss at your guys about plays like that. When they're taking it to the rack like that and, and playing 100%, uh, you know, things like that's going to happen. So we were very pleased with that uh, move. There's Curtis hitting a big three for us. Free throws. Murray State 30 of 38. Southeast 10 of 17. Now, is that the way you're playing or what? Well, I thought they were playing us man too, but, uh, you know, if I say anything about the officiating, Randy, I'm going to get a reprimand from the OBC office. And, you know, we're not in too good a light with the OBC now. We don't even get to play in their tournament so, uh, at the end of the year, so i got to just really keep my mouth closed. we got great officials in the OBC, and, and I felt like that uh, we should have played a little bit more there. I didn't like the, the call. I felt like the guards were really pushing off on our kids, and, and they weren't calling. But there they got a turnover and, a, and an easy basket, and, you know, the, the building is very loud, and they got the student body into the game, uh, which really, uh, really stirred the whole thing up. Their students, like you can see, their students are getting really involved in the ball game right now, and they're getting excited about, about uh, playing the game. Well, Murray State pulls it out at the end, Coach. A ten-point game. The old saying: "Game was closer than that score," and it really was. Uh, that they they won it, and I guess that's the bottom line. Well, if it's tough, on the road. There you go. Big